Hi everyone, today I'm going to be taking a look at this Lego Star Wars set. Uh, it is number 75173 and it's Luke's Land Speeder. Uh, so this is now a retired set. Um, it retailed originally for £20 or $20. It um, comes with 149 pieces and 4 minifigs. Uh, so this actually came out in 2017. Uh, obviously it's now been uh, discontinued as there is a new a new set coming out soon that comes with a land speeder and if you're a fan of Star Wars there has been uh, quite a few different land speeders uh, so this is actually the the first one that I bought and the only one I currently have so my view of this may be uh, better than other people's that have, have bought previous versions so I actually saw this in John Lewis when I was looking at some other sets it was the last one left on the shelf and I think it was maybe £15, or it could have been full price of, of £19.99, I can't actually remember. Um, but I thought it looked pretty good, four minifigs, um, and I also thought it was about time that I got one, considering the amount of Star Wars things that I have. It seemed a bit silly to not get one. So here is the box, and you can see a nice picture of the set, uh, plus the four minifigs that you get, uh, which I will look at separately. And a quick look on the back. Uh, so there isn't any like action features that come with this set, but you can remove this section for for storage, which I'll show you in a minute. And that's about it really for the box. So here is the set, including the minifigs. Um, I will remove the minifigs and just show you the land speeder itself. Uh, see, it comes with a free a free wrap. I'll leave that as it is uh, for now. So you can see that it's a very uh, very sleek design. You can uh, slide it along the table quite nicely. I guess if you really wanted it to move, you could quite easily add add a couple of wheels to the bottom of it. Uh, in terms of stickers, so we have this one in here. Let's try and get a better angle on that one. Uh, you have sticker here, sticker here, and a sticker here, plus a little one here. Uh, and as I was building this, I actually think I prefer, uh, preferred it without these stickers. I mean, they're, they're quite detailed stickers. They're a little bit fiddly to put on because you have to wrap them around. Um, but yeah, before, before I put the stickers on, I actually think I preferred it without. So if you do get this set, set uh, maybe have a look at this video and then compare it with yours before you put the stickers on. So I'm not going to, now they're on there, I'm not going to peel them off because then they'll they'll be wasted and I'd have to buy new ones if I, ever, if I ever wanted them again. But yeah, I think definitely for me personally, it was better without the stickers. So you can see a uh, steering wheel, got the, the gear shifter, which is, oh, did now come off. Um, yeah, room for two people to sit. Uh, obviously, due to the there's lots of studs, so you can have the rat sitting on the front. Uh, you could easily sit other figures on it. So yeah, I think it's I think it's a pretty pretty decent land speeder, and it was quite an enjoyable build. Nothing too tricky. Uh, so this section can come off quite easily. So you've got a small amount of storage. Uh, let me grab the. So the lightsaber won't fit as it is, so you would have to take it apart. But then it fits quite nicely. Or if you've got some, some blasters or something, you can put those in there, or you can put the rat in there. Yeah, not, not a huge amount uh, more to really say about this, but I think it's I think it's good. I think it looks very nice. Um, obviously over the years, Lego have perfected the land speeder. So I don't think you can really, aside from maybe making it bigger or if they did like a huge UCS version, I don't think you can really improve on this. This is probably as good as good as it gets really. In terms of the minifigs, you get uh, Ben Kenobi. Uh, I think he looks good. His printing looks good. Uh, none on the legs, uh, well none on the side of the legs, but down the front all looks pretty nice. Just the one face, but I think that's fine. He looks good. 
Then we have Luke Skywalker with the binoculars. And again, I think his printing's nice. Um, yeah, it looks good. So the second face is slightly different. Bit of a frown. But I think, yeah, they're both fine. I'll keep the uh, slightly cheerful face. Then we have C, oh, there we go, C3PO. Uh, if you've watched any Star Wars videos, there's not much to say about him. He always looks nice. Um, we've had obviously lots of them and I have quite a few C3PO's lying around. But yeah, he looks good. I think he always does. And then finally we have Tusken Raider. Yeah, I like these. I think they look good. Um, it's always nice to some of the smaller sets and battle packs and things when you can get an extra one of these. That is the head. Of course, there is no alternative face, but I don't think you need one. So there we go. Uh, that's my my look at this set. Uh, I, I like it. Um, I think, especially if you don't have, have one already, or maybe you've only got one or a really old one, then I don't think you can really go wrong with this set. And yeah, even though it's retired, you can still find it in some shops, or you should be able to find it online for basically retail price. So yeah, there we go. Uh, let me know what you guys think, and uh, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.